Hello once again. So in the last video we were talking about a use case where we have uh, Jenkins on our machine and then uh, we were having VirtualBox installed on the machine and on that VirtualBox we have Ubuntu VM installed. On that uh, VM we have installed Docker. Now we want to use this Docker uh, using uh, shell commands through a VM. So what we'll be doing is we will be creating docker image using docker file we will be using nginx image as base image on top of it we will be deploying the html page that we will be creating now uh, we will be hosting this html page onto this nginx uh, container and then we'll be trying to access that from our local okay so let us take a look at the docker file so i'm simply using this nginx base image so nginx alpine because this is very low size image and uh, we do not need to do very fancy operations we just want to host a simple html page so this is sufficient for us now uh, i need to create a html page which i want to move to this nginx image so first of all let's say i create this html page inside this ci folder uh, so that is why even in that docker file i have changed the working directory to ci and then i am saying that from this ci directory i want to move this index.html to user share nginx and html all right so this directory uh, we will be putting this index.html and uh, then we will be trying to access it now we have created this blank html file so i am copying a very very basic html page from our repository and then i am putting it here in this index.html now consider this html file as your source file and in practical case it won't be a single file but it would be a group of files so with those files first of all what you will be doing is you will be copying those files to your image and then you will be building that particular project so if i compare it with a simple node project let's say i have 10 different files and then there is one package.json now after copying all those files onto this image i want to do npm install okay so those instructions that i want to give for example this installation and all other steps that i want to do those i will be specifying in file all right so that is why i am creating one shell file here i am calling it as run.sh and in that file for this simple use case what i will be doing is i will be simply updating the content of this html file and inside this docker file that you have created earlier we will be adding steps to move this run.sh to this nginx image and then we will be setting the run permissions and then we will be running that particular file all right so this way we would be able to perform the update operation once we are running the docker container okay so from jenkins our next objective is to use this image and to create one container all right so as the container is created using this docker file it will automatically perform this operation and then we should be able to access this html page basically the updated html page but for that we will be requiring the url and that url will be the host machine url but it requires a port so that port mapping is the thing that we still need to do now let us see what instructions we need to give to this vm so first of all to experience that we create one docker file onto this vm just to manually perform those operations and i copy the content of uh, this uh, docker file that we created uh, apart from that run sh onto this docker file and let us now build it using docker build minus t kamal and then the directory so we are into this ci uh, this docker file is inside that so that is why we mentioned that directory there all right with this command i will be able to build this image using docker file now since i already have uh, built this image using that docker file so if i use docker images i will be seeing this image with the name kamal now we know the command to create the image using docker file next step is that how we will be starting the container all right so you see here in the build and deploy step i have added the shell command to build the image and then i have added the command to uh, run the container so i use docker run minus td and then minus minus name hello which is the name of the container and 
then we are doing this port mapping so minus p 80 colon 80 and then we are giving the name of the image which is kamal now let us copy this command and let us try to run this on terminal and we see here it gives some error that uh, uh, there is a conflict with the name all right basically this is happening because i have executed this command before also and that is why this container was already created so if i do docker container ps so i see that this container is already there okay so if i am trying to create a new container with the same name it is throwing this error so i have intentionally done this step because i want to tell you that the same thing will happen through pipeline also and all the times you need to delete your container and delete your image also if you are building that image all the times through pipeline now once we delete this container and we create a fresh container uh, what we need to do is we would be needing the ip address of this host machine so i type ifconfig to get the ip address and port we have used is 80 so that is why 192.168.29.119 colon 80 and that is where we see this hello message and if you note here that we also see here we go which was coming from that shell file basically after this html file is copied to that image uh, it has also ran that run.sh and updated this html file okay so that is how in practice you will be moving your source code files and then you will be running the instructions to build your source code now as we were talking about handling those errors if the container or image is already existing so what we need to do is we need to use this pre-build stage to remove the container and if that container does not exist we don't want exception so that is why i am surrounding it by try catch so if it exists it will be deleting it and if it does not exist it will not be doing anything but it will be simply printing a message that container is not found all right so to stop a container or to kill a container we use the command docker stop and then the name of the container all right so this is how we are killing the container and next is we need to delete the image or remove the image also that we are not doing in the pre-build stage let's say we want to do that in the build stage only so in the build stage inside this script block i am adding another try catch block where i am removing this image so if this image already exists it will be removing it and if it is not existing already it will be simply printing a message that image is not found okay and after this you know deletion of image it will be building that image from the docker file and then it will be creating the container now the overall flow is smooth even when the image or container exists or even when they are not existing before so let us now copy this uh, jenkins file or this source code and let us create a new pipeline with the name pipeline 7 and here let us copy it from any existing pipeline and just update the jenkins file since i have already pushed these changes to git so i just need to specify the name of the jenkins file that we are using in this example so i am using jenkins file 8 so that is why i have put the name there and now after saving we just need to build this and before this we can check here when we run docker container ps the image or the container already exists there all right so now let us run the pipeline and see whether it is able to delete this container and create a fresh one or not all right so we now see that the pre-build stage is executing it is completed and if we check the logs here of this one we see here it has removed that container successfully and then in the build and deploy stage if we see here it is printing that error while deleting the image because the image was not existing and then it has executed that docker file to create the new image and followed by unit test regression test and release to production these stages we have uh, just logged on messages so uh, nothing is happening there and if we check the application using that host machine ip and port 80 we see that the page is working 
All right, so this is how we have successfully deployed this HTML file and updated that HTML file. Uh, and uh, this is currently hosted on this Docker container. As soon as this container dies, this page will not be working. All right, so I hope this works. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you must be relating that how this works on your actual project and how you will be building or so I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you would now be able to relate that how your actual projects are being built and how it manages the containers and how these things are getting deployed automatically to these containers and you are able to see the application. Now, one advantage of using this uh, these shell commands is that the container that we have created, it won't die automatically. But when you are using the other plugins like the Docker pipeline plugin that we were using earlier, uh, with that, it automatically kills the container at the end. So with that, if we want that this application should stay alive, so that is not possible.